Hey, y'all, and well, thank you, and welcome back to another fun episode of Mafia. Uh, audio might be a little messed up because I activated it for before the video, so who knows. But as you guys remember, in the last episode, we were... Help, we helped Polly and Sam get cigars in and found out that for the first time ever, the Don was actually smuggling in dope, which was... One of his first tenants, we don't deal with that. So now that Polly and Tommy feel cut out, they decide to cut out the Don from their little bank heist. We decide to go through the bank heist. Now we're just trying to get away with the bank heist. So back to the getaway. All right, let's get away from him. Where can I run to? Let's run up here. Cars huh? Yeah, let's get over the bridge. Yep. Yep. I'm going in the oncoming way. See how brave these guys are. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, to the back, they're not going to be able to at all. Move in now. 
Come on, bud. Officers are reporting the suspects now in Little. Nope. Yeah, I had to give it up. Let's try again. It's just trying to get away. It's just trying to get away. Uh, I can't figure out a way how to get away from him. One second, I'm pouring Pepsi. And this time I'm actually meaning it. I'm trying to cut back now. Cut back a little bit on the alcohol. So, yeah. Go, go, go! Where? Anywhere! Just lose the cops! Our cars reported him in North Park. Yeah, yeah, anywhere. Just lose the cops. Doesn't help me. Tommy, look out! Shut the gap. Oh yeah. He wants to go against traffic. There you go. He's gonna fight, but he's gonna fight traffic. Gotta fight just as much as me. Okay. Okay, come on, let's find uh He's in the works quarter. I repeat, works quarter. All right. Go back at him. Oh, I got killed. Yeah, I got killed. Damn it. I don't know where to go. I wish it would give, like, somewhere to go. If it would give, like, a little hint of where it wants you to go, that'd be awesome. But I'm not getting anything right now. I'm legitly just running and seeing what streets I can take. I know I'm a good runner, but at the same time, it's like, this ain't my side. Like, this ain't my skill. Go, go, go! Yeah, it's Where? supposed to be very Anywhere, easy. just lose the cops! Hey. Yeah, I got a line. Officers reporting he's now in Holbrook. Officers in Holbrook, we've lost yeah, I got a line here. I don't know where it's from. Please, I mean, it's just like the easiest way to get rid of them. 
from where I gotta go. All officers, search is called off. We're in now. A Palermo club. Sam's club. Hey, it's empty right now. But All right. No, can't hurt them. We're almost there, Tom. We've almost done it. It's still almost, Polly. Right. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying right. to beat outside my chest. Agreed, because I just killed a, a lot of officers and we just ran away. Pull in. Ooh, yeah, we're damaged. We did it! I can't believe we fucking yeah, did it! Yeah, buddy. We're loading! We're loading! Yeah. For all time's sake. Sure. Ah! Nice. No. We gotta go. I'll see yeah. you all. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this Nice. Without. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Good luck. See you around. Thank pal. you, bud. <laughs> nice. Now, here's the thing. I, I know it's about to happen. Alright, the last big score. Moonlighting. This is the last mission of the entire game. And I know it's going to happen. The reason why I got the good USB in. Yeah, the death of art. Well, look at this. Now, here's Price the sad has thing. Finally risen. I was getting oh. ready to call the coroner. Sorry. I had a bit of trouble falling asleep as well. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Nice. And it got grayish hair. Okay, what'd you do? We're just feeling lucky as all. Got that right, champ. Nice. But I've been thinking. Oh yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been nice. thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Had Polly and me. Nice. He's coming to some money. Huh. One of know. his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, so oh, shit. Like Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. All right. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. Shit. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Fuck. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Probably you don't even know. Mm. What well, it must be it. That's you figure it out. Yeah, she can... to Polly's. I think Just that's really weird that women can read their husbands like that. Polly's all right. Don't all worry right. about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Very true. But yeah, no, like that is. Oh man. Really, Tommy and Julio. Yeah, there's one also in here too. <laughs> uh, notice of passengers keep a uh, record of card. I want to see what Tommy has. Is that their wedding day? Man and wife, June of 1934. So, four years beforehand. 
Maritio Italiano. Tommy and his family arrived in Empire Bay after a month at sea on Christmas Day in 1904. After an inspection of immigration officials, they traveled to Lost Haven in a crowded train carriage. Tommy's father found employment in Lost Haven Harbor, where he f worked until his death 15 years later. This is a little bit of Tommy's life. Okay, Sicily, 1904. Four-year-old Tommy was his family at the Veriti Lemon Grove near the Port Messinian. Tommy's father was a supervisor at a plantation until he was forced by a money lander evicted from their home and desolate. The Angelios immigrated to America soon after. Yes, yeah, so this is this is giving us a better like into his life yeah that's Sam Polly hanging around you're gonna end up packing bags with me just Let's one of a kind you no know, I want to go back in the house Your I want to look around more Polly's gonna get worried if this you is know. Tommy's life oh that's the front door you still here there's more. There is. Oh, okay. This is the garage. So this is actually his car. A Berkeley. So a Berkeley. I'm wondering how gang members' wives actually feel about them. Yeah, about them driving around and doing the shit they do. Yeah. I'm wondering because because Polly had the idea of meeting someone. He's in his 40th year. He's 40 years old. I'm wondering how that worked out for him. Because you know, I know this. My parents were in their early to mid 30s. My father was 34 when I was born. No, I think 36. But still, like, they were in their mid 30s when I came around. I'm the youngest of the family. I'm wondering this. If I, if Angelina's daughter, because he said he had a kid, a daughter, is the youngest uh, and it doesn't go into like how old she is what year she was born it's not like assassin's creed where we get a blow by blow of everyone's life i'm wondering slowly and i'm sure stupidly i'm wondering how that life worked out because think about it. she doesn't know what her father does she doesn't understand where her father has like where her father works and she can't exactly do a take your daughter to work day plus I'm plus he's a criminal like people who know Tommy's itinerary like what he's done in what he's done for like his life they don't exactly go into that so it's kind of sad because think about it if you're proud of what you do like me i'm proud i worked as a diesel mechanic for a couple years like i helped them do tires and work like that i'm proud to say yeah i worked my ass off to get what i got in life he can't exactly tell his kid, yeah, I shoot people and I work for the mob. He can't exactly say that. That's kind of a... Uh, man. Oh, here we are. Sammy, you better have my fucking money, bud. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. God what damn happened it. to your door? 
Christ on uh, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising All right. Hey, Polly, don't tell me you already spent all Polly. the money. I don't like that. God, Jesus. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Polly. Polly. He lived alone. Polly. Polly. I agree, dude. Wasn't as he was after us. What's he looking for? Okay, that's uncanny. Who's calling? Who's calling? Yeah, I know there's plenty of windows. Who is making the call? Polly. Sam. It's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him slumped over in the hallway, torn a fucking skull. I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta right. disappear. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, Sorry, I had to okay. reload my water. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Jesus. Oh, God. Polly. Hopefully Sam can get us out of town. Polly. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call the cops. That is sad. Dude, that's sad. Polly was our like one of our best friends. And like as you guys saw in the house, it's like Oh man, that actually kinda hurts. It's like having to kill Lee a little bit. It's not like super sad, but it is kinda sad. Because you We were supposed to go over there get payday for helping him out and now he's dead apparently Don knows we pretty much fucked up which also means okay we're fucked because we know okay this means that yeah this means that the Don knows that we robbed the bank the Don knows we went behind his back to rob the bank. So only one thing we need to know now is how fucked are we gonna be? And how fucked are we? Like, how fucked are we gonna be? Because if Sam knows about it, he will have already, he's probably told the Don about it, like, hey, remember, they were together way before. Hmm. 
Nah, let's get out. Alright, yeah, let's, let's keep it covered. Big art gallery. I like it. Very rustic. What's going on? Polly. Where are you, buddy? Don't move, Tom. Shit. Gangster. Hey, oh, Tom. fuck. Sam. What? What's going on? What the hell's going on? You and Polly. Put me in I a bad agree. spot. I agree. What's going on? I know, Sam. And I'm sorry about that, but I need to get really? out of town. Can you help me or not? Hmm. There you go again. Making me choose between my friends hmm. and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Shit. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Oh, fuck. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. Oh, you seem real shit. tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Mm -hmm. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this oh, yeah? big bag of money. The Don knows oh, about you Frank Tom. Bastard. The whore too. That whore. The girl you were Wait. sweet on. You're the one that let her live. Yeah, the one you told us to help you out with. I'm sorry about this, Tom. I said we kill it. She but killed our business it. I said it. Has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri? Yeah. Really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal. But you're not. Oh, yeah? You're just scared. Maybe. I agree. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Oh, yeah? So would you. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Thank you. Why can't we have two guns? Why can't we go on Kimber? Can we go again, Bob? Oh yeah, I'm not done with that. Get a better shot. Go. Gotcha. Where'd you go, Sam? Yeah, where'd you go, fuck that? Business is business, Tom. I know that you. Yeah, you're a dead man. Don't even try.
Okay. Yeah, what was this? over here Macana Marcanado See what I can pick up. him out. Cause that means I got another guy coming up right here. We got a guy on the other side. Man, what's this? Cool. Running out of guys yet.
Salieri was ripping us up! Oh shit, okay, that was a grenade. So he's got grenades too. I was trying, I'm trying to be like, so like precise, like, okay, no, I'm not dealing with your shit, you're dying today. Pretty much I'm just going, okay, you died today. I don't know how, but you died today. Alright. See how this goes back. Over here! Running out of guys yet! Still not over! Celieri was ripping us up! Ripping us off, baby! Me? My ladies think smart. You ended today in a pine box! Oh, yeah, he's dead. Throw it some fire. Holy crap. Oh, took him out. Cool, he's not there. Okay, I'm gonna go back around over here because apparently they gl it glitched him on the ground. Nope, more out, more, more area. Yep, come on, Sam. on the other side. Let's see what's going on. Tomorrow I walked up, yeah. Yeah, why can't I kill him now? There's no stairs down. When I go back down and kill him, I have to go all the way back. If I want to kill him, I gotta go all the way back. I like there's a room. Yeah, wait, there's a room over here. It shows a room. We're gonna reload this section. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, reload last checkpoint. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Because for some reason it's not loading in properly. And I don't understand what's going on. He's supposed to be up top fighting me, but no, now he's down below? That doesn't make any sense. Kill all those goons, though. Over here. Running out of guys yet. Still not over. Uh. 
Oh, you did. Salieri was ripping us off. All right. Insult to the family, thank you, that's all. I'll gladly switch over. Okay, that's the way they go. Good. Lucky Got shot, him. Pam. But the thing about drug money, thank you. It pays for a lot of muscle. Put him down, boys. Put him down, boys. Hey, hey, over here. Got him. Got him. He's dead. Nobody's oh, yeah, carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. Hmm. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you you're right. dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough hmm. to stay gone. Right? Hmm. What happened to him? What do you mean? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> the dumb bastard. All right. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. Oh, shit. So, Salieri. So he sent out a crew. 
and his family. And killed him. Great. Christ. They were killed too. Nice. Hmm. You can't do it, can you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like you made hmm. a girl. Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier hmm. every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? I agree. Right? You betrayed me time. and Sam. I mean, me, you and Polly. You and Polly. Thank you. Put you in the head. Thank you. Fuck him. Looks like he shot himself. Those are hundred dollar bills. Shit. Well. I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family. That's how work. All right. I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have mm -hmm. to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Life Vinny, crime. maybe even the game Sarah's father. Me more hard difficulty. I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family really? new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. All right. And I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, Shit. too. Wife. Four All right. boys. All right. So the reason possibly just after killing oh, twins. uh Sam. Yeah. Uh, I should... So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them. The All right. Fear that one of them's going to go before you do. But this case It'll be one of the biggest this city's right. ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even okay. dirty cops. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not hmm. many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Okay. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but... I'll try. That's a pretty good sales gem. All right. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether All I right. live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Nice. Don't go thinking you know me. There Tom. you go. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long right. as you help me put him there. That's all this is. All right. Then that has to be enough. Why don't you help my family? All right. I bought 1951. This is... Okay, eight. A long time oh, ago. Oh, wow, he aged great. Because this Another was 38. So Someone once told two, me that family is ten, a man's Achilles 13. heel. His greatest no. weakness. Maybe he was so right. Yeah, 13 years. 13 years later. Everything I've done 
both good and bad. Hey, there's Vinny and oh, why did you read? I've done for my family. Why did we produce the guns and fix the cars. They were mechanics. I've turned my back on people they thought were my oh, friends. Oh wow, Sarah. I've kept a lot of hard promises. Oh. I spent eight years totally alone. Okay. Trying to find myself. So I could come home. A better husband. Okay. A better father. A better man. Oh, look at this little girl. Now that I'm a lot older. All right. And just a bit wiser. <laughs> I see <laughs> that family is our greatest weakness. But it's also our greatest strength. Okay. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams. Nice. Even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling okay. over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Okay. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! Now, if you don't know who those two are, you will know who they are in the next game. Oh, wait, jobs. he had more kids, or is that just his wife and his... Even best pals. I mean, his daughter and we'll come husband. And go. But family. All right. Family is forever. Yep, and this is the end of Tommy. Now, a little something a few people don't understand is... The scene right there is from, oh, Hangar 13. Yep, this is the end of the episode. So that little scene right there is actually a mission in uh, uh, Mafia 2 where you actually go and kill Tommy and Julio from a family and you actually go and kill them. So Mafia 1 shows the progression from Mafia 1 into Mafia 2 where... Which is what we're going to be doing after the next five episodes where we're going to be just doing the night ride. We had to complete the entire thing, the entire ep entire series, the entire story mission before we went and did the... Uh, yeah, before we went and did the uh, night ride. Because now we can easily go in and just do whatever we want. So, with that being said, that is Mafia 1 story... Not noir. Noir would be black and white. I'm sorry it's not noir, but thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, leave a like down below. Subscribe today. I will leave this running just so you guys can see the credits. And remember, have fun playing in the dark. I will see you guys in the next one. Night. Audiomicro.com